Welcome back, everyone. Time for us to go behind the headlines. And uh, I was pretty shocked to find this morning the reports from, well, they came in last night. It was a town hall meeting in Arizona last night, of course, Pacific time zone. So it took a while to get to the uh, folks on the East Coast to write about it. But apparently Senator John McCain has, I don't know, lost his mind (laughs) in a good way. This is a really good bit of news that we're getting on this, and it has to do with his response to a question on marijuana and whether or not we should legalize marijuana. And uh, he said, quote, and this is uh, tweeted out by one of the uh, Arizona Republic's uh, reporters, but the quote said, maybe we should legalize. We're certainly moving that way as far as marijuana is concerned. I respect the will of the people, end quote. Well, that's swell. That's excellent, John McCain. 2013, and you've come around to supporting the will of the people. Uh, and, and I don't want to you know, dismiss his uh, change here. This is great that he's come around to this. I just want to point out the context of this change because maybe some listeners out there, some folks that don't follow politics as deeply, may not realize what a huge reversal this is for John McCain. Just six years ago, when he was running for president, September 30th of 2007, he spoke to uh, people at a town hall meeting in New Hampshire. And there's a great activist group out in New Hampshire called Granite Staters for Medical Marijuana. And then, and now they've got medical marijuana. But back then, in 2007, they were still fighting to get medical marijuana uh, through the threats of and, and the vetoes of their governor at the time. So it was a really contentious issue. And John McCain was confronted by one of the, the activists from Granite Staters for Medical Marijuana, a medical marijuana patient herself, who asked him about his support. We've got that video, so I want to take you back now to 2007. This was John McCain's response just six years ago. And not to legalization, but to medical marijuana. And, um, I'm serious to help, okay? Um, I have a lot of medical problems that cannot be addressed. Um, and I'm also allergic to the problem of just about every pain in the I am not a um, seizure and a diet and a really drug that there is. One thing that has worked for me. Okay, I've, I've tried it. My doctors know all about it. Now from now on. It really has, it really makes a difference in pain management. And McCain is walking away from the woman. There are currently 12 states in this country that have medical marijuana laws that protect the serious ill and dying. But we also have the feds coming in and arresting these people that are dying and are seriously ill. Um, what would you do about that? Well, first of all, you'll have to show me a case where people are going in and arresting people who are dead and dying. You'll have to document that for me because I never heard of such a case, nor does anyone that I know ever heard of such a case, so it must be a very well-kept secret uh, because we don't arrest people that are dead and dying. Uh, so I would be glad to, and if they, they are... They to the hospital beds. Well, uh, and well you know, again, you'll have, to, you'll have to document that for me. But that, that's not the kind of society we live in, and I would strongly disapprove of it. Uh, ma'am, ma'am uh, you may be one of the unique cases in America that only medical marijuana can relieve pain from. Every medical expert I know of, including the AMA, says that they're much more effective and much more... Uh, uh, better treatment for pain than medical marijuana. So that was John McCain just six years ago, literally turning his back on a medical marijuana patient to walk away from her as she tells him it's the only option that works for her. And, uh, and also saying something about arresting the dead and dying. I hope we're not arresting the dead, but uh, we have many times arrested and imprisoned the dying. And before that, during his Senate career, now remember, uh, McCain's been in the Senate since 1987. McCain distinguished himself as one of the most hawkish advocates for more punitive drug policies. In the year 2000, he told the Boston Globe he wanted to increase penalties for drugs, including support for a death penalty for drug kingpins. 
And back in 1999, he was at a debate in Dartmouth where he said, quote, I can't support the legalization of marijuana. Scientific evidence indicates that it is a gateway drug, end quote. In fact, McCain even once claimed that we were winning the war on drugs during the Nancy Reagan just say no years. And we should go back to just that. <laughs> well, good for you, John McCain, for turning around and saying, quote, maybe we should legalize. We're certainly moving that way as far as marijuana is concerned. I respect the will of the people. It looks like it only took 20 medical marijuana states, two marijuana legalization states, a dozen or so polls indicating majority support for legalization, many, many, many more polls showing super majority support for medical marijuana legalization, and his own daughter, Megan McCain, coming out in support for legalization and admitting that she herself had smoked pot in New Orleans uh, as research on the issue. Uh, finally, finally, it took all that to get one sitting U.S. senator to change his mind and consider legalization. Hmm. One down, 59 to go. All right, and that fine, fine sound means that it is time for us to take our 20 after break. Get ourselves ready for the weekend. Tonight, we will be at the world-famous Cannabis Cafe, Herb Thrasher Live. Tune in and check us out. Oh, have you ever met that funny reefer man? A reefer man. Have you ever met that funny reefer man? A reefer man. If he said he swam to China, he 